Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone to the second part of our molecular biology SP preparation series. I'm Dr. Lai Abdul Ati and I'm really excited to share my knowledge and experiences with all of you through this series. So let's dive in together. In our previous lecture, we start in the first section of molecular techniques, nucleic acid isolations. Today, we will move on to the second section of exams, manipulation of RNA and DNA. Actually, these molecular techniques parts make up 30 to 35 percent of the total molecular biology ACB exam. So, let's focus on the question related to the manipulation of RNA and DNA and review molecular biology ACB questions from the previous exams. Let's go! Okay, let's see the first question we have today. What is the primary purpose of labeling nucleic acid in molecular biology? 15 seconds. The correct answer is to detect and visualize specific sequences. As we know, labeling nucleic acids help researchers identify and see specific DNA or RNA sequences, right? So this process is important for many molecular biological applications. Let's move on. Let's see the second question we have today. Which enzyme is commonly used to incorporate labeled nucleotides into DNA? The correct answer is DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase is the key enzymes that incorporated label nucleotides into DNA strands. This process is essential in techniques like BCR and DNA synthesis, where label nucleotides help researchers detect and analyze specific DNA sequences. So, by tagging DNA with these markers, scientists can track genetic materials more easily improving accuracy in studies and experiments all right let's move on okay let's see the next question here which of the following is the common method for labeling nucleic acids all right the correct answer is fish technique Fish techniques used to label a specific DNA or RNA sequence within cells using fluorescence prop. Let me explain it in a simple way. Actually, fish used a small piece of DNA or RNA called props. All right? These props have a fluorescent tags attached to them. So, these props are designed to point to specific sequence within DNA or RNA of the cells. So, when the probe attached to their target sequences, they emit a fluorescent signals that can be seen under the fluorescent microscope. So, this allows researchers to identify and visualize the location and amount of the specific sequence in the cells. All right? Let's move on. Okay, next question. What type of label is often used in nucleic acid labeling for detection by autoradiography? All right, the correct answer is radioactive isotopes. The radioactive isotopes are commonly used to label nucleic acid because they provide highly sensitive detection of specific sequences. I will show you how it works, all right? First, a radioactive isotope is attached to the nucleic acid, making it detectable, all right? Then the labeled nucleic acid are placed on X-ray film or phosphorus screen as the isotopes emit energy, they produce a visible signals. So, finally, this signal forms image that pinpoint the exact location of the specific nucleic acid sequences. All right. So, this uh, radioactive labeling make it possible to detect even tiny amount of nucleic acid with high accuracy. All right. Let's move on. Or the next question here. Which method is used to label nucleic acid with biotin? All 
The correct answer is all of the above, right? Actually, pyrotene can be incorporated into nucleic acids using various methods, including random priming, neck translation, and end labeling. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's see the next question here. Which of the following is non-radioactive method for labeling nucleic acids? The correct answer is pyotene labeling. This pyotene labeling is non radioactive method for labeling nucleic acids, allowing for detection using streptavidine conjugating enzymes or fluorescent dyes. All right. All right, the next question Which of the following is non radioactive method for detecting labeled nucleic acids? The correct answer is chemiluminance, all right? The chemiluminance is non-radioactive detection method that uses uh, chemical reaction to produce light, which can be detected and measured. All right, let's move on. All right, next question, in fluorescent-based nucleic acid labeling, which molecule is commonly used at the fluorescent tag? All right, the correct answer is fluorescent isothiocyanate or FITS. This FITS is the commonly used fluorescent tag for labeling nucleic acids. It emits a bright green fluorescent, so make it easy to detect label sequencing in molecular biology application. So due to the strong signals and stability, FITS allow researchers to visualize and analyze DNA or RNA with the high sensitivity hiding in the techniques such as the fluorescent microscope and flow cytometry all right let's move on all right there's question here what is the advantage of using the deoxygenine label nucleotides in nucleic acid labeling The correct answer is non-toxic and stable. Okay, let's move on. If you find this content helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support means the world to me and help me create more valuable content for you. Thank you for being part of this journey. Let's continue. Which method used labeled nucleic acid to detect the specific RNA sequences in tissue sections? The correct answer is in-situ hybridization. Actual in-situ hybridization helps locate where certain genes are being expressed in the cells or tissues by binding a labeled nucleic acid probes to its complementary RNA sequence. All right, let's move on. Next question. What is the role of the reporter molecule in nucleic acid labeling? 15 seconds. All right, the correct answer is to provide a detectable signal. Actually, a reporter molecule is the special marker used in nucleic acid labeling to make DNA or RNA sequences easier to detect. It produces a clear signal such as the fluorescent or color, allowing scientists to see where the labeled sequences are and measure how much is the presence. All right. This is especially useful in the genetic research, diagnostic, and molecular biology experiments. Let's move on. Which of the following is commonly used fluorescent dye for labeling nucleic acid in real-time BCR? The correct answer is cyber green. 
Cyber Green is widely used for and dye for labeling nucleic acid in real time PCR. It binds specifically to double strand DNA and emits a bright fluorescent signal when excited by light. Okay, this fluorescent increases as more DNA is amplified, allowing scientists to monitor the PCR reaction in real time. This cyber green is popular because it is the highly sensitive, cost effective, and easy to use, making it common choice for gene expression studies and DNA quantification. All right, let's move on. Let's see the next question. What is the purpose of using a quantial molecule nucleic acid labeling? The correct answer to reduce background fluorescent. Actually, a quantial molecule plays a crucial role in nucleic acid labeling by reducing background fluorescence. It works by absorbing or suppressing the fluorescent emitted by nearby reporter dye until specific reactions occur, such as the DNA amplification in real time PCR. This ensures that the fluorescent signals are only detected when the target sequence is the present, all right? Improving the accuracy and sensitivity of molecular assay. All right, let's move on. All right, next question. Which labeling method involves the incorporation of labeled nucleotides during the synthesis of complementary DNA? The correct answer is reverse transcription BCR. This reverse transcription BCR involves the incorporation of labeled nucleotides during the synthesis of cDNA, allowing for detection and quantification of specific RNA sequences. Okay, let's move on. Let's see the next question. Which of the following is the benefit of using fluorescent labels over radioactive labels in nucleic acid labeling? The correct answer is safer handling and disposal, all right? Actually, the fluorescent labels are safer to handle and dispose of compared to the radioactive labels, so making them a preferred choice in many laboratories. Let's move on. All right, next question. Which techniques use labeled nucleic acid to measure gene expression, gene expression levels in different samples? The correct answer is microarray analysis. These techniques that use labeled nucleic acids to measure gene expression level across many genes simultaneously. So in this method, fluorescent labeled cDNA or RNA samples are hybridized to a solid surface containing thousands of DNA props. The fluorescent intensity at each probe spots reflect the expression level of the corresponding gene allowing researchers to analyze gene activity across different conditions or samples. All right, let's move on. All right, the next question. Which of the following methods is used to label nucleic acid with the radioactive isotopes? The correct answer is NEC translation. NEC translation is the technique used to label DNA by introducing NEC, I mean a single strand breaks in the DNA backbone using DNAs 1. Then DNA polymerase 1 extend the strand by adding new nucleotides, including labels 1 such as the radioactive or fluorescent nucleotides. So this method is commonly used for preparing labeled DNA props for application like uh, southern plotting and in situ hybridization, enabling the detection of specific DNA sequences. All right, let's move on. 
All right, the next question. Which of the following is the commonly used enzymes for the labeling 3 prime end of RNA? The correct answer is T4 RNA like this. T4 RNA like this is enzyme that uh, used to attach label nucleotide to the three prime ends of RNA molecules. This is an important step in RNA research because it helps in labeling RNA for further analysis, such as in sequencing or detecting specific RNA sequences. Essentially, the ligase acts like a, a molecular glue that bound the nucleotide to the RNA, allowing the researcher to track or study RNA molecule more effectively. All right. Okay, next question. Which of the following is the commonly used method for labeling the five prime end of DNA? The correct answer is end labeling with the T4 polynucleotide kinase. Actually, the T4 polynucleotide kinase is enzyme that labels the 5' prime end of DNA by transferring a phosphate group from the ATP to that end of DNA molecule, as we see in the image. This process is important for various applications in molecular biology, such as in labeling DNA for sequencing or hybridization experiments. So, by adding a phosphate group, the DNA becomes marked allowing researcher to trace or study specific dna sequences more easily all right let's move on what is the purpose of using labeled props in northern plotting Okay, the correct answer is to detect specific RNA fragments. Actually, labeled props in northern plotting hybridize to specific RNA fragments, allowing for their detection and analysis. All right, let's move on. All right, let's see the next question here. What is the purpose of using digoxygenine in nucleic acid labeling? The correct answer to pine to antibodies for detection. Actually, the doxygenines lipolinucleic acids can be detected using anti digoxygenins antibodies, which specifically recognize and bind to the doxygenine. All right. So this binding enables researchers to use various detection methods such as uh, enzyme like uh, linked assay or fluorescent based techniques to visualize the lipolinucleic acids. This labeling technique is widely used in molecular biology, particularly in applications like in-situ hybridization and plotting techniques. It offers a highly sensitive and non-radioactive way to detect a specific DNA or RNA sequencing. All right. All right. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lectures. Please don't forget to like, comment if you have any questions, share and subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest lectures. I also encourage everyone taking the test to share your questions with us so that everyone can benefit. Salam.